Hello and welcome back to SciTai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you to make a very cheap full spectrum camera that is less than $20 by simply removing the IR cut filter. By doing this, we'll allow you to be able to get these amazing photos just like this. Let's get started. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to take this Vivitar Vivicam X022 camera that can be found on Amazon for under $20, and I'm going to convert this camera into a full spectrum camera. And I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Tilting this camera, you can locate the IR cut filter, and as you can see, it looks like it's going to be easy to remove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my screwdriver, and I'm going to go and remove every screw that I find on this camera. It's basically see a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw. By doing that, you should be able to open the camera and access the IR cut filter. And removing the label that's underneath the camera, it'll reveal a hidden screw. Unscrew that and you'll be able to open the camera. And there we go, the camera is now opening. Open it carefully just to prevent any ribbon cables from tearing. Oh, lucky me, no ribbon cables. This is going to be even easier than I thought. Next, a very important step, you need to discharge the flash capacitor by using these alligator clips. You must discharge this capacitor. If you don't, you risk damaging the circuit of the camera. So I'm going to go and take the screwdriver and attach it to one end of the capacitor. Take a jumper wire and touch the other end carefully and touch it together and there the capacitor is now discharged and now it's safe next we're going to need to remove the lens by removing these two screws that's holding it down there we go just like that and now carefully pull out the lens perfect and there, the sensor is now revealed. Next, I'm gonna go and remove the lens that's in this little lens holder carefully without scratching the lens. But unfortunately, by doing this, I actually did scratch it. Scratching it will cause a slight blur effect in the camera. So yeah, don't make my mistake. Remove it carefully, and there, you have the IR cut filter. Now, remove that by simply taking these pliers and poke it out, just like this. Perfect. And now take out the IR cut filter. And there, you have a full spectrum camera. Next, carefully place the lens back into the lens holder, just like this. But before I do that, I want to make sure the lens is focused. And the lens was actually focused because of the IR cut filter was put into place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and cut off a piece of the IR cut filter and place it back where it was, just below the pinhole. Placing it below the pinhole will allow me to place the lens on top of the IR cut filter, which will make the camera perfectly focused. Scoot it over, just like that, without the IR cut filter, the lens will be too close to the pinhole, and then all of your photos will be out of focus. Next, I'm going to take a very small amount of super glue, and I'm going to go and take a lead that came from an LED, and touch it. Doing that will give me a very small drop of super glue. Take a small dab of that super glue, and place it pretty much in the same spot where the original glue was. Just like that. And that's exactly how much you need. Now take the IR cut filter and place it right on top of the glue. Make sure it's nice and flat. Perfect, just like that. Now let's wait for that glue to solidify before putting the lens back in. Now it's solidified and now take the lens and carefully put it back in just like this. Press it in, 
And there we go. Take a fiber cloth and clean the lens. Next, take the lens and lens holder and put it back into place. Basically, this step means I'm going to do everything that I just did, but backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and put these pieces back into place. Screw it back into place. Take the other piece, put it back into place as well, and screw it back into place. And there we go, the final screw is screwed back into place, just like this. Perfect, and your camera is now ready. Of course, put the batteries back inside. Turn on the camera, and there, it works. Perfect. And there we go, the video works. Excellent. Now, let's go ahead and test it out and see how this camera works. And as you can hear, the sound quality isn't very good, but what do you expect for $20? However, you can see that this camera works as full spectrum, just like this. And now if you've noticed when I talked about there being a scratch on the lens, you can see on the bottom portion of this video, it's slightly blurred. That's because of that scratch. If I didn't scratch it, it'll look the same as it is above. And as you can see, I'm filming in the middle of the afternoon, where it's the brightest, and it's coming out just fine. And this is how it looks when the sun is about to set. And this is how it looks right after the sun is set, just before it gets dark. And this is what it looks like after it's dark. And as you can see, the photos come out much better than the video. And what I've done is I've photographed it the same way and the same time as I did the video. Brightest time of day, time of the day before it gets dark, and the time of the day when it is dark.
And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own full spectrum camera that is less than $20 by using this Vivitar Vivicam X022 camera. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.